Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Do you know what Magic Orthodoxy is all about? Is this your first time here? Where have you been? Where have you been? Uh, my name is David, I'm a teacher, I'm a magician, and I'm a content creator here on YouTube. And what I do is I take all those different hats and I put them all together and I made this channel because I am lucky enough, fortunate enough, that magic houses and magicians send me product so that I can review them. I open the box and I tell you exactly what you get. I want you to know exactly what your money gets you. Today, today is special because we're doing two videos. That's right, two videos, two reviews. Why? Well, if you go down to bigblindmedia.com, uh, you're gonna get this as a bundle. So this is Several Second Wonder from Jack Teague and Big Blind Media, it's seven bucks. And if you get this, if you buy Several Second Wonder, you're also gonna get the Broadside Glimpse, which I also reviewed today. Uh, broadside Glimpse is shuffle deck, spectator can shuffle it, you don't have to know where any card is, you shuffle the cards down to the table, the spectator selects one, you show it to them, put it back in the deck, shuffle it again, and you got your peak. This is an incredible card peak, uh, great for mentalism, great for uh, like just shuffling demonstrations, shuffle tracking, you wanna do it that way. Uh, a lot of good applications, so go make sure you watch the other video that I did today as well. But we're here to talk about Several Second Wonder. What is Several Second Wonder? Several Second Wonder is a uh, shuffle deck. You're shuffling, right? Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And then you break the, the, the cards into four different packets. You flip those end for end, and then you can still move cards around. And then you just turn the top four cards and you cut to the aces. So it's a cut to the aces trick that starts with the shuffle deck. It looks great, it looks great, and it also looks impossible. There's a couple little nuances there that are kind of built into it. And I know you think as a magician, you know all those cut to the aces tricks, especially some that are simple and self-working like this one. This one really is self-working, right? You think, ah, I know how to do all those and it wouldn't fool me. It fooled me. When I watched this on the video, it fooled me. So pretty cool. Um, so is it what I thought? No. Uh, I thought, well, it is and it isn't. <laughs> it is and it isn't. There was something he did at the beginning about how he shuffled and I, 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 I caught onto that. And then he did something else and then I was like, wait, then it can't be what I thought. It still was what I thought with a minor addition. And that's that minor addition that is the game changer. Because every magician knows how to do the, you know, cut piles and the top card, you know, is, is, is something that you predicted. We all know that, it's a, it's a simple trick. But the way Jack does it, your first notion about how that trick is done gets thrown right out the window. Because he does something as a prover that he didn't do it that way. I hope I'm confusing you. <laughs> So it was, uh, it, was really, it was really fun. So I think this is a, this is a fooler for spectators and magicians. Um, not long, not long at all. Uh, it's six minutes in total. Uh, you're gonna get two files. The first one is a performance file, which is only a minute. He's doing this in the Red Room with Liam Montier as his uh, spectator. And then there's a five minute explanation video. Grab a deck and do it right with him. Seriously, don't watch, don't just watch it. Grab a deck, do it with him and you'll figure this out. So yes, there is a little bit of setup. There's a little bit of setup. So when I said they sh shuffle at the beginning, you're shuffling with a control, but um, it's super simple. And I think the more uh, skilled you are at card controls, the better yours will look. Um, and then he goes right into the trick. And really there's nothing else on the video. It's only five minutes for explanation. And it literally takes that long to teach you. Um, he does it twice, he does a full run through, and then he does a run through again. I appreciated the fact that he did it twice. First time I did it, I screwed up. <laughs> I screwed up, I did ace, 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 10 of diamonds, what? And I was like, how did I, how did I mess this up? And then I watched it the second time he did it, and I, a little light uh, came on. But let's talk about skill set. Let's talk about whether uh, you got the skills to pay the bills, because um, I did say this was self-working, and it is, provided, you know, you can do a, a shuffle and control your top stock 
which is easy, by the way. Uh, the second thing was, is he gets a break, gets a, gets a thumb break uh, and holds it. And so that's another thing you have to be able to do. He's gonna teach you how to get the thumb break in a super easy way. He's gonna give you an excuse to get your thumb break, okay? Now, if you are mad skilled at cards and you can get a thumb break without an excuse, <laughs> do it, right? but he's gonna teach a beginner how to get the thumb break without anyone noticing, all right? So, but that's it, that is it. Like if you can cut cards to the table, you can do this trick. So a lot of fun, like I said, fooler, it's a fooler for a cut to the aces trick. And if you like those tricks, like if you like cut to the aces tricks, I think you'll like this one. And for $7, come on, Jack Teague, Big Blind Media, you can't go wrong, right? So, like I said, it's seven bucks. You get this as a bundle. So you'll get the two files for Seven Second Wonder and you'll get the single file for a Broadside Glimpse, both taught by Jack Teague. Both have Liam Montier guest starring in there. Uh, you get a peek and a cut to the Aces trick for $7. It's a win-win, it's, it's right? It's a win-win, especially in this time uh, when we're all a little light on cash, you know, and we're trying to stretch that dollar, make it go a little further. This is, this is gonna make you feel like you got some, some new magic uh, to watch this month. So for yeah, $7, it's totally worth your money. Hey, big huge thanks to bigblindmedia.com for allowing me to have this so I could do the review for you and I'll see you guys next time, bye. Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would, did you know I have a second channel? That's right, I have a second channel where I teach beginning level magic tricks. Magic Channel Card Tricks is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house. Paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks, simple card tricks, simple card forces that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits. So if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside. And I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even gonna give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to do that trick. Don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back to Magic Channel Card Tricks and I will teach you how to use that trick as well. Or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're not a beginner, but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is, that you could share this channel with them. This is a great, safe place, kid-friendly, where they can learn beginning level magic. Make sure you head on over to Magic Channel Card Tricks. Give my videos a like. Subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being a part of Magic Orthodoxy.